I was um, awarded an MBE in the recent Queen's New Year's Honours list, received the award for services to psychology and to people with hearing loss. I think my major contribution was to coordinate the evaluation of the introduction of cochlear implantation to the health service. Remember that cochlear implants are devices which are implanted surgically into the inner ear, the cochlear. Their aim is to bypass bits of the hearing system that aren't working properly and to stimulate the near nerve of hearing directly with electrical signals. And this has proved to be a very successful technology but back in the 1980s and the early 90s, it was controversial. And over that time, we and many others around the world were able to demonstrate that implantation was a safe, clinically effective, and for the right groups of patients, a very cost-effective intervention. For children who are born deaf, the outcomes are really remarkable. The majority, provided they receive an implant or two implants when they're young, go on to acquire spoken language, uh, they learn to read, which was an enormous difficulty for children born deaf previously, and often to attend integrated schools, to go on to university and into employment. Now, I believe that somewhere between 300,000 and 400,000 people around the world use implants, more than 10,000 in the UK, and they use them and they rely on them in their everyday lives. I hope that really explains your original question of, you know, why did I get an award?